It's me, Berlin Hair Baby, and today I'm kind of doing a Rachel Zoe inspired New York Fashion Week look. Um, not really curls, more like these Medusa tendrils coming down that are PC, a little bit bedhead and messy, kind of Blake Lively also mixed in there, but a lot of celebrities were wearing this, uh, this look for Fashion Week. I'll put inspiration photos on my website, so go check it out. And also, this is really fun to do. Um, for a night out because it stays in place really well. These tendrils are low maintenance and you can lock them in with a little heat protectant spray starch and then you're good to go. For day two hair, um, you've got so many options to pull this back, like kind of messy here. You could put it into a messy low ponytail. You could even do like, you know, a wrap around chignon. Again, very Serena Va Vander Woodson. Um, and then you've got some messy pieces sticking out. So this is great for like, you know, if the night's wearing on and you're on the dance floor or a day two look with sort of slightly messy hair. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you again soon. Um, have a great day. Bye. Of the Rene Fratura Karate, Karate on my ends. I've talked about this product in a couple of videos, but it comes out in kind of a milky substance and it's shea butter which is really excellent for dry and damaged split ends. So I, this is now totally incorporated into my hair routine because I love this stuff. And basically, this look is all about sculpted and crisp, healthy uh, looking hair, and you want the ends to be under control and not fly away. So whatever you use, it doesn't have to be for Tara, but whatever you use to make your ends looking good. So yeah. Okay, next thing we're going to do is um, heat up your curling iron. This is the Remington Big Barrel. I like Remington because, as I mentioned before, they have a Teflon, um, what is this called, like conical sphere? <laughs> and it's really good for your hair and it produces a nice smooth curl, but use whatever you have on hand. Um, and then I'm going to do my Redken 15, okay? The Redken 15 is like a spray starch for the hair. It's a heat protectant. But for me, because I have thick and a lot of hair, it really helps to kind of control the curls better. So I'm gonna take that, not on my roots, but just at the ends where I'm gonna be curling the hair. It's, it's a fine line with the Redken 15. You, you need to make sure you get it in there and work it in, but you don't want too much. Otherwise your hair is gonna be a little bit too starchy. So just play around with it to kind of get the, the amount that you need. And the first time you use it, you might be too heavy handed, but that's okay. Next time, you'll know better. Okay, I've already done this um, side of my hair. I want to show you up close this side. The first thing we're going to do is take a strand, about so much. Then we're going to hit it again with the 15 spray starch. Or we're going to spray ourselves in the eye. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to, when I'm using the camera as a mirror. Okay, so we're gonna take our barrel curling iron. If you have one of those really cool wands, you're in business, just use your, your wand. But I don't have one. So I'm going to be only wrapping my hair around the barrel and I'm not clamping it in, okay? So do you see that? All around the barrel. And if you wanna use a glove to protect your hand, that's cool too, cause it, you know, you can burn yourself. I'm just warning you. And then do you see how it's not a curl? It's like a tendril, PC tendril. This is, I think the reason this is a really popular look, not just for fashion week, but for premieres, um, is because if you're doing photographs and you're on the red carpet, this hairstyle will never look out of place. It's totally in control. You know, for a woman like, oops, for a woman like Selma Hayek, who has gorgeous but fairly unruly thick mane of hair, she can be really difficult to style because her hair is going to always look kind of crazy and out of place and frizzy, and that doesn't photograph well. So giving these controlled tendril spirals, if you need to do photographs or you're going out for a night on the town and you really want your hair to look perfect, sorry you guys. What am I doing? All right, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. Okay, trying to get a strand of hair. 
Um, if you're doing a night on the town with your girls and you're going to be taking a lot of photographs, your bachelorette party or what, whatever the event is, this is a good hairstyle for it. Okay, so wrapping it around the barrel, paying a little more attention to what I'm doing, holding it. I've got the end out. I don't have that totally close because I don't want to burn myself and also I want my end kind of PC. See that? And the Redken 15 is really, really helping to, first of all, protect the hair from the heat, but also to lock that shape in. Make sure it's well distributed, not in the roots, but on the ends of the hair, and around the barrel like this. You can use a smaller barrel curling iron if you want, that's fine too. Um, you'll get tighter, you know, you'll get tighter waves, obviously. See how like it's kind of frizzy and kinky back there? It really needs the spray starch to be controlled. And then the sections of your hair that are unruly, leave them in longer. Don't forget, we want these babies to hold all night. You know, we're going to the runway shows, we've got to be at Tommy Hilfiger, then Dolce Gabbana, then the Chanel opening. We need our tendrils staying in place, right? The, um, the biggest lessons I've learned in the last few years via YouTube and various gurus like uh, Candy Johnson is how to give your makeup and your hair longevity. Like how to keep a makeup look lasting all day long with the use of primers. And that stuff really makes a difference between what the professionals use and tips and tricks like that. Um, that you can go out and after a few hours look in the mirror at the club or the restaurant you see your makeup and hair are still in place. Now let's hairspray that and let it cool off. And actually, I'm gonna just go like this with my hair clip so that piece is really gonna be flipping away. Yeah, and same process on the next side. TG Bedhead After Party, the stuff. Um, I really like it. It's great for smoothing out the hair. Just taking a little on my ends like this, and I'm just gonna, you know, haphazardly work it through the tendrils. So there's a little bit of shine and form on them, but again, not too perfect. You could twist them like this if you want them coming more out away from the face create a little texture just by grabbing one piece and then a tiny bit in the roots pull that away from our face and then let's just do a little hairspray so that part is staying away up and away from our face and now you could get a lot more dramatic with that if you wanted to you could really bring it up Okay, and there's our New York Fashion Week Sculpted Tendrils. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.